This is another problem with Keynesians, is they're so wasteful. Much like that of Marxists, they seem to think that demand is something secondary. That is to say that Keynesians have the skewed view, aggregate supply being produced, then creates demand. This is deeply flawed. It's demand that drives production, not the other way around. Demand is something constant. It's always there. And so demand is what drives production and that's what ensures what prices are. When you leave it down to the free market for prices to determine where resources are going to be allocated. And it also ensures the efficiency that what is being produced is in relation to the demand of the economy. The free market economy. Keynesians think that demand is just something you can plan for. You just produce and therefore demand just comes along. But there's no guarantee that what you produce is going to be in demand and they end up creating surplus waste. So they're inefficient. And they end up being faced with shortage problems. Because much like Marxists, Keynesians are control freaks over the economy. Growth should ensure that enough wealth is generated to match the needs of the entire society. This establishes the material foundations for a good quality of life. But it's important that this wealth benefits not just a few people, but the whole society. This is the principle of social balance. This means, for example, that good work should be paid appropriately. A sustainable economy is necessary in order to ensure that societies in the future also have access to the resources they need. Sustainability means only consuming as much as can be replenished. <laughs> like I said, on the economic calculation problem, the economic calculation problem really is the primary reason for why socialism is so inefficient. Never mind their theory about, you know, replenishing resources and we'll only use so much. Yeah, that's all well in theory. But what these, you know, Keynesians end up doing is they end up wasting resources. They end up putting it into the wrong parts of the market that could have otherwise been more efficiently put into parts of the market where demand is more urgently needed more urgently required, therefore better improving material wealth. The three economic principles of growth, social balance and sustainability, each affect one another. There are political movements that tend to concentrate on just one of the principles. What's special about the economic policy of social democracy is that it aims to find a balance between all three principles. Marco is really excited by this idea. An economic policy that does not sit around waiting, but actively gets involved. He wants to be part of this in the future. You can find further information and other resources about the topic of economic policy on the Academy for Social Democracy website and on the Department for Economic and Social Policy website. Everything from, at and with the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung. It's all well speaking about all these good intentions and what, you know, the Keynesians wish to do. From the inefficiency, right, over resources and the resource misallocation that they're faced with, with all of their government intervention that ends up resulting in monopoly and cartel creation, and they end up resulting in a private sector restricted in innovation, as well, of course, in competition, and they end up creating the monopolies, as I say, ends up putting smaller business people at a competitive disadvantage through their strong government regulation and their higher tax rates that end up creating the problem that he spoke about earlier. You can see the problem with their, their whole idea and the government subsidies over private industry is exactly what results in incompetency and that's a big part of what resulted in the legally protected fraud of the banking crisis and you know all the other problems it just makes the taxpayer collectively poorer all in the name of the redistribution of wealth they haven't made society better off all in the name of trying to spend their way out of a mess and driven people's costs of living through the roof all in the name of trying to make society collectively better off, taxing them half to death where they can barely get by. Social market economies of Germany, of Denmark, of Norway, of Sweden, they're not social democracies. 
They're social market economies. Therefore, when you talk about Denmark or Sweden, they have low levels of government regulation. That's not something that social democrats believe in. So folk, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been informative for yourself. If you get anything you would like to add, comment in the comment section below. And of course, thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like the video, share the video and whatnot. And of course, I shall talk to you later. Cheers.